The William Mon Institute of Nanoscience and Technology is established to pursue world-class fundamental research in nanoscience with an eye towards uh, technology applications. A late Dr. William Mon is a successful Hong Kong entrepreneur. Because of his interest in science research, he has established a Shrinking Education Charity Fund in 1984 he has continuously support material research at our university with multiple donations since the establishment of our university. This institute was founded in 2001 uh, because our successes uh, in discovering the giant electrobiological fluid effect and also the world's thinnest carbon nanotubes and uh, subsequently also discovered its superconducting characteristics. So with these uh, successes, uh, we envisioned the establishment of a platform in nanoscience and technology to further the uh, research in this area. This institute works with both basic science and application-oriented technology because we think Basic research is the upstream source of application-oriented technology. On the other hand, the problems generated by application-oriented technology can be a source of problems for basic science research. Therefore, we see a synergism between the two, and it would be best to have both. It's important uh, to, to do basic research. First of all, basic research can uh, help us to understand the nature better some fundamental principles of the universe. And secondly, breakthroughs of basic research can provide unexpected ways to solve some real life problems. So I study quantum materials. Uh, for some materials, the properties cannot be understood without applying the principles of quantum mechanics. And some of these materials are, are very uh, interesting. For example, I study uh, something so-called topological insulators and they have potentials in uh, making electronic devices uh, which are faster and uh, have low energy dissipation and uh, maybe one day we can use them for quantum computer as well. Here at the William Mong Institute, we work both on the basic science and also applied science. So the reason we work on the applied science is we believe that through the research on the applied science, we can create a more social economic impact for example, through the uh, startup company or knowledge transfer uh, started by the students or faculty, we can create a business. We have uh, quite a few interesting experiments going on in the William Mong Institute. Uh, for example, we have an uh, experiment on the uh, fabrication of the nanostructures uh, that can improve the performance of the solar cell. And we also have the experiment on the fuel cell devices that will be the future energy source. We have a researchers working on the nanostructured solar cells because we discovered that nanostructures can harvest more light as compared with conventional planar solar cells. So as you can imagine, if we use a nanostructure, we can use the same area of the solar panel to produce more clean electricity. The institute is important in supporting the nanoscience research in this region because it can provide support to establish special research facilities and provide seed fundings for our faculties to carry out research projects in nanoscience and technology. The materials catheterization and preparation facility is one of the largest research center facility in Hong Kong, providing services to local university, government labs, and industry. The newly established center quantum materials is jointly supported by the William Moon Institute of Nanoscience and Technology and the Materials Characterization and the Preparation Facility. So this center promotes collaborative research for fabrication, 
characterization, theory, and application of emerging quantum materials. This facility is a great asset to the Villamon Institute of Nanoscience and Technology because it promotes our research in quantum materials greatly. The greatest strength of our institute, uh, in my opinion, lies in the fact that we have people working in theory, working in experiments, and working in different disciplines who can collaborate with each other freely in small associative groups. And uh, I consider that the greatest strength.